Hi, right, it's Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project, uh, bringing you another video on using the Super Power Calculator. Uh, this time, I'm going to use this function called, given my current FTP or CP, uh, what FTP or CP um, percent improvement do I need to break a certain time for a certain race? So it's in other words, it's a, it's a way of working uh, a bit hypothetically um, in terms of where you're at now, what your goal is, and what you have to get to in terms of your FTP or CP. Uh, so let me run through uh, a couple of scenarios and uh, demonstrate how this function works in the superpower calculator. It could be you know, important. It could be uh, uh, something useful for you in terms of, you know, determining whether goal is, is feasible and, and um, uh, looking at, at some of these, uh, these hypotheticals of what you need to improve. So um, I'm going to use a uh, 70 kilogram male with a 217 watt uh, FTP, that's 4.53 watts per kilogram, if you wanted to do the math. Uh, notice, again, it, super power calculator, all the yellow field, data entry fields are required, and then the result is uh, popped out in the green tab. Um, this one, everything is done right on the main page, and so let's, let's scroll through this. Uh, so I'm entering the the runner's stride weight, which is 70 kilograms, their FTP or CP, which is uh, 317. And they want to know, they're, they're trying to break three hours in the marathon. Uh, so you need a rival exponent. Well, there is a rival lookup function, which we've discussed previously, but there are uh, uh, various rival, suggested rival exponents for depending on the race and the duration of the race. You can use that. What I suggest is if you're planning around a three hour marathon, uh, minus 0 0.08 is gonna be about right. And some people might be minus 0 point, or scratch, scratch that, minus 0 0.075, and some might be uh, minus 0 0.085, but uh, I, minus 0 0.08 is a, is a good one to work with if you're doing this type of work with a, around a three hour marathon. Um, we're gonna put in a hypothetical running effectiveness of 0 0.94. We wanna put in running effectiveness that is uh, about what is reasonable for a marathon. And uh, not, not just that, also got to consider the marathon conditions. And, and I've talked about this before. You want to use, you want to look at either prior marathons, what the running effectiveness was there. Um, or you want to look at the uh, running effectiveness in uh, marathon power uh, tempo work that you're doing incorporated into a long run or towards the end of a long run where you're pretty fatigued. That running effectiveness is probably pretty reasonable as well. But also consider the conditions. A, a running effectiveness for a flat marathon is going to be a lot, well, it's going to be, you know, uh, point, uh, zero 0.01, point zero 0.02, maybe even higher difference than a running effectiveness for a really hilly marathon or a really windy marathon if you happen to have the wind pod. So you have to consider the conditions a bit, uh, but you, the, the starting point is what your, your historical running effectiveness has been for either a marathon race or marathon power. Uh, if you're working on uh, a 10K, and we'll come back and do an example of that, we might choose a different running effectiveness because it's more specific to that intensity. So back to the example, um, we've entered all the values, a three hour marathon, the exponent is minus 0 0.08, running effectiveness for this particular runner is 0 0.94. 
So, and this is their current FTP CP, right? So we scroll down to find the results, and there we go. So what the model is suggesting is that to run a three-hour marathon with a running effectiveness of 0 0.94, um, you're going to need to have a FTP or CP of around 322 watts. Um, and for this particular runner, it goes so far as to say that's about a 1.68% improvement needed in FTP CP over what the current value is. And that is actually, you know, that's a reasonable improvement. One, one, one and a half, two percent improvement is that's doable for for many runners within a uh, you know a sixteen week marathon build. Um, for some runners, you know, Elliot Kipchoge probably not so much, uh, but but uh, for most runners, that's pretty reasonable. Now. If it was something like a, a you know 10, 11 percent improvement needed, um, then you better get on your horse, start training, and hope that you are very responsive to the training that you're performing. Because 10, 11 percent improvement in 16 week period, that's a big ask. Uh, so uh, let's go through one more example. Um, let's let's take the same runner. And they are going to be, uh, they want to run a 10K. Um, let's say, hey, I want to run a 10K and I want to um, run, uh, let's say, 30, 33 minutes. 33 minutes for the 10K. Well, the rival exponent is going to change a little bit. Um, it's going to be a little bit lower for that duration. Uh, that speed, and then also the runner's running effectiveness for a 10K is probably going to be higher than for marathon. It might be a couple points higher. So let's let's go 0 0.96 for this particular runner example. So there we we have entered all the different data fields, um, and again current current CP uh, or FTP is 317. So let's. Um, Let's go ahead and check and see. Okay, so they're going to need, to run a 33-minute 10K, they're going to need a 357.7-watt uh, FTP CP. So they're going to have to really put something on, which is, you know, that's close to 13%. So it's not likely in a 12-week training program um, for, for the runner to really increase that much unless they're starting from, you know, uh, this FTP CP represents a relatively untrained condition. Um, so it, <laughs> the runner might want to modify their, their goals. Look, maybe maybe a, a 36 minute uh, 10K. Let's see, 36 minute 10K will require a 330 watt FTP um, which is a 4% improvement over the 317. Um, that might be a more reasonable target. So um, there you have it. The, it's, a, it's another function within the superpower calculator, and it uh, allows you to look at where you're at right now and to hit a certain goal um, what you're going to need in terms of an FTP and how much you have to improve to get there. Uh, so hopefully this helps. Uh, it's, it's a cool little function. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hopefully this works well for you. Bye-bye.